Ah, good morning. <laughs> and what's going on there? The connection to the mic um, disappeared. Uh, yes. It is the 21st of May. 2020. Thank you, Maud. Good morning to people. Are you off to do some work? Yeah. Yeah, well done. Mom's just been doing her powerful mash on here. Now she's going to go and do some other work. Um, fog on. He's, I think he's hosting. I think 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock are his big loud ones today. Um, morning, Julie. Morning, Leanne. Morning, Scooby Shaggy. Hi, Laura. Oh, morning, Monica. I'll, I'll pass on. Um, hi, Rachel. Hi, Buying Space. Oh, you're live and you can hear me. It was, yeah, it was on mute to start with. Buying Space, what's, it, what's your actual YouTube channel name? Because I was looking for the other day and I couldn't find it. Um, oh, so it's Buying Space, isn't it? Because that's your name on there. Couldn't find it. Um, send me a link on Insta if you can. Oh, can you, no, you can't do that, can you? Oh, I couldn't find it. Um, morning, Catherine. Morning, Andrea. Hello. Oh, looking lovely today, Cheryl. Thank you. It's funny, isn't it, when you feel like a bag of old bones that somebody says, hey, look, you look nice, girl. Oh, thanks. I feel like crap. <laughs> um, morning, Kelly. I'm oh, morning, Shasta. Morning, Rachel. Morning, Carol. Sorry, I've already said that. Um... Kath, morning, you've just saved me from watching ridiculous. Oh, God, no, I don't put the telly on until. Telly goes on for the update. So what time's that? Around half four-ish. Um, daytime stuff's pretty bad, isn't it? Actually, I did put it on, it must have been slightly early, just before the update one day, and Caroline was on on her um, reviewing channel, uh, reviewing, yeah, series then. Um, morning, Mel. Oh, are you doing a video, Mel, on your big vintage haul? Love to see it. Oh, bonjour, Belle. Hey, Anne. Morning, Gemma. Morning, Raspberry Beret. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, your channel name is Byron. Oh, well, I'll write down your name as well, and that might help me find it. Um, yeah. There we go. Um, coffee is recommended. Oh, morning, honey pie. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Good morning. Karen, can someone get my button gear? Only if you can get mine in as well. Um, morning, gorgeous. Morning, Joan. Um, before I, well, <laughs> I was going to say, before I start, as this is going to be a professional like series of events here, I've got a few bits to show going out. Um, oh, look, there you go. There's the requests. I kind of, yeah, definitely like to see you. Mel, uh, A, we want to see you doing a reselling video. Well, I do. B, jewellery. C, vintage. Yes, please. Um, yeah, before I... Oh, Mel, have you got wool? Has anybody got wool for sale or wool that they're willing to sell? Because Connie is going through it at a rate of knots. Um Oh, yeah, and my rainbow is gone because that went to my mother-in-law. And I've been asking her for rainbow bunting, but she's, so she's, yeah, she's just going through a rate of knots. She, I don't know what this is. She started doing a rainbow, I think it's going to be like a blanket, but it's more like a jellyfish. I don't know what that is. She's now doing these. We've got these from my mother-in-law, this wall. She's doing granny squares. She's done loads of the um, premature baby hats. There's a million of those in here. She's done, um, she did, see her, her crocheting and her knitting was a lot better than her, where's her mask, than her sewing, because she did, she crocheted a mask, which I know would be really hot, and we said, well, you've got to line it, and that's the state of the sewing, so I was like, maybe stick to knitting crochet, but if anybody, yeah, if anybody has wool, especially rainbow, that um, you're selling or weren't thinking of selling and you're happy to get rid of, please let me know, because, um, Going through it right knots. Uh, good morning, Shelly Show. Morning, Bad Wolf. Morning, morning Cars. Um, who haven't I said later? Morning, Pink Harpy. Bonjour, lovely. Sorry if I've missed anybody. 
That sounded rude, Mel. Do one, and that's, that's a Manchester. You know, yeah, do one. I've, I know that phrase. Um, oh, Mel, I've got a ton to get rid of. Yours for the price of postage. Oh my gosh, yes, please. She's literally just. Um, con it's so surprising. She just. I suppose it's not well because she needs people all the time. I think because she hasn't got you know, like a variety of people all the time. She's taken, she has to do some, I suppose she's a bit like me really. So it's the knitting crocheting constant. Uh, that would be awesome. Oh, and Karen's got all in pastel colors. Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, Karen as well, yeah, let me send you the postage or whatever money you want for it. Um, brilliant. Have I sent you money before, Mel? No, probably haven't, have I? Yeah, I'll get your um, your details been busy well to just constantly on the go connie um oh, i want pink carpet oh, I'm in, i need to message people on my list <laughs> this is great though because she will seriously get through it because where's her blanket i don't know what's happened to that she's also got a scarf on the go um right message all these people we will And Cara. Good morning, sunshine. Good oh, morning, Joe. <laughs> right, hi, Kate. Oh, and Claire. I'll, th I'll just spat then, sorry. Um, I don't know if we're on Insta, but my address is... I pro no, I probably shouldn't say that on here, but it is on like on my eBay, if you go into any listing, it, it appears at the bottom because I'm a business seller. Um, morning, Chris. Chris is addictive. Oh, I'm glad I don't need to add that to my list of addictions. <laughs> I suppose that's a healthy addiction, isn't it? Oh, gee, I sold Rainbow Care Bear. Yeah, everybody wants rainbow stuff, don't they? Oh, my awesome, Mel, totally awesome. Yeah, she's because she she bought some from Woolly Hippo, and then they ran out of certain colours, and then uh, she was going to do an order with a, I think she's doing an order with a friend, and but she's you know she, yeah it gets quite expensive. Um, buying space. Does anybody remember the twenty foot scarf that the fourth doctor had? I was saying this to Connie because she's run out of the wool, and her scarf isn't very big. And I said, well, you can just do different colours. You can just add on. And I don't know if she knows the first Doctor Who, so I need to send. I need to show her a picture. Um, yeah, so how was everybody's sales yesterday? I Mine, it's definitely, yeah, 62 turnover. It's definitely, I feel like it's dipping. It feels quieter. And I don't know if this is the natural, oh, in May, summer slowdown dip, or if it's starting to kick in lockdown dip, or, um, but it's definitely feeling slow. Um, yeah, I've got three bits here going out. Did uh, puzzles still go as soon as I put them on? But so I do. I do my Wentworths anyway before I, before they go on. Terrible sales, Catherine. Forty five pounds. Yeah, it's. And I don't know what the cause is. Not that that helps, but um, that was the fourth dot. Oh, Mel's the Doctor Who aficionado there. Rachel sales yesterday were rubbish. Okay, so far I haven't had any sales yet today. Stool morning sales yesterday were manic for me, but slow today. Oh, but slow today. We've only just started today. Hi, mum and five sons. Oh, who said thank you? Um, thank you for whoever it was. You said like top. It's a I've had this for years. It's top shop. It's a um, I can't see it. It's a what do you call it? One of those. Okay, smock them. Um, but it's nice and light, you know, it's a uh, sweaty bit here in this, in this weather in the t-shirts. And I'm trying to, I used to be such a sunbather, but um, I'm trying not to get any sun on my back or I don't mind legs, they seem to be all right, but I've got a lot of freckles um, or to go and visit somebody about that, but uh, I'm not doing it right now. My friend was saying, oh, you know that you can have a video call because I had one the other day. Like, so her little one's got X-Men. I was like, oh, she said, 
She was going like this to me, so you can have a video call across the kids. I'm like, because I showed us something the day, she went, mm. oh, so that's nice information for you. <laughs> Here we go again with the oversharing. Oh, good mornings. Um, buying space, bad wolf, I just want to cry. I live in Florida and I'm so alone. I love the English. Oh, gosh, what's it like in Florida at the moment? Is it roast? Is it roasting? Um, it's roasting here. Oh, of course, because you're isolated. Oh, yeah. Nightmare. Um, I, I know that I'm lucky that we've got a house full in a way. <laughs> Mel just about the trend all first people are fifty percent up on last month and fifteen percent up on last year. Yeah, I am in green in, in one of them. I'm twenty five percent up on last year, but last year was horrendous at this time of year for me. I think between about March and September was horrific. Um and I'm down on the last month by twenty three percent. But then it was like super incredible last month. Bad wolf, like it even one. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, oh, tunic top length, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you've seen this one before, Andrea. Oh, everyone loves the top. Thank you. Still, most of your sales happen in the middle of the night. Is that drunk people or people abroad? Pink Harvey, three small Etsy sales this morning, but little sales add up. Yes, definitely. I, in fact, a couple of minor little brooches. Cheryl, I get ran random offers at midnight. I think, yeah, definitely. I think people have had a drink. I, certainly, I'm terrible for buying lots when I've had a drink as well. Or I think I'll put the world to rights and I'll sort this out. I'm going to buy some jewellery and I get yes. And then you, it comes, you're like, oh, Christ. Um, yeah, I've got about 100 quid's worth that I bought on Saturday sometime. Uh, I think it was Saturday due this week. <clears throat> plus some Lex bags, so that'll be cool. Um, Julia, I think because I've had time now, I'm not working, I'm trying to build up my list of number, but things are selling as fast as I list. Oh, that's good. Is that jewellery, Julie? Oh, jewellery, Julie, that's quite a tongue twister. <clears throat> Catherine, how does day of the year yesterday and we decided to rearrange the lounge, spent six hours cleaning and reorganising. Oh, but it feels good today though. But you were sweating. Oh, I saw your bar. I always love your barbecues. Food looked lush. What did we had? We had um but a salmon wellington, not not that I made it out of the freezer and mash and carrots yesterday. The day before, Connie Maud said, What's for tea? And I said, It's freezer surprise. <laughs> I have no idea whatever comes out. Oh, still, yes, you're in Brighton. My brother said that there's that the beach, apparently, he wasn't down there, but his friend is working down there. The beach was packed yesterday, and there were, like, um, people selling beers on the beach or something, or the pubs are selling takeouts. Um, my aunt who lives down there was like, oh, my God, you know, cause you see, it's, and people weren't social distancing. Oh, hi, sweetie pop. Hi, Sue. That's been quieter death for the last few days, but oh well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people can't spend money they haven't got, can they? Um, <laughs> See you, Queer. Oh, sorry, I feel a bit sneezy. Karen just cut some fabric and ironing it. Oh, hey, Lainey. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, bless me. Oh, man alive. I've just been, I just went, well, I only went out to the compost heap. Um, I think, yeah, the grass pollen's probably kicking in, isn't it? Anybody got rain yet? No. Hoping for a shower for the garden, hot and sunny in West London. Yeah, it's hot and sunny here, and I'm not, hang on, yeah, you're West London, I'm Reading, so. People abroad, but probably drunk too, yeah. Oh, still, yeah. Um, or maybe they have insomnia. Oh, my sleep was tragic last night. 
so the thing is I did end up having a power nap this afternoon and I bet I'll end up having one today because I tried to sleep last night. Morning Kirsten, how's your list going? You haven't got a big one today, have you? Morning Ash, Ashley. Julia ordered something, couldn't think what it was and then realised it was six rolls of sellotape. <laughs> I'm waiting for my foot peels as well. I'm looking forward to that. Um, right, in a minute I'll show you what's going out. Oh, Mel, have quite a few items sell that have been on sale for 18 months or more. Don't have many things like that because I tend to get rid, but there's a few and good to see. Yes, last month loads of stuff went that I was like, well, it didn't even go at Christmas. So lots of candlesticks, um, pairs of candlesticks as well. So I was, I was well chuffed. Um, one pink nylon. Nylon. Ah, stool. Live on the seafront and look out on the beach. Lockdown is over here and social distancing is the thing of the past. Ah, so it is true then. Oh, you've got a nice spot there, stool, haven't you? Did you go down and get a beer? I'm not judging. I'm not judging. It would be hard to resist in this weather. Um, Julia, mixed of jewellery, clothes, books, selling the most. Didn't have any listed before. It's not a huge number, but good for me. Oh, well, good. Well done. What's that? Let's bless you, hedgehog. Oh, is that what you say? Bless you, hedgehog. Um, Catherine, I seem to book holidays when I can't sleep. I suffer from insomnia, so it happens quite a lot. Booked a night away for our anniversary last night, 2 a.m. Oh, in September. When in September? Um, all of our birthdays are around them. Yeah, I see so you think we'll be all right by September because I'm we're due to go to LA in August and we're not confident. Um, and this weather just really makes me want to book a holiday, but you know, it's, we're just not at the moment. Um, Karen here up north, everything was close to the beaches, even the toilets to discourage people staying there. Yes, the people are thinking about it in two ways, aren't they? To discourage people or if you don't have the loos open and stuff, then people are going to weigh in bushes and stuff and kill the bushes. And so it's what do you do if they're going to come anyway? Oh, lovely. Live Kachin, Kath. Kids books. That's all, all adds up, isn't that? Oh, ba -ba -ba -ba. oh yes. Kirsten's channel. Karen's on Kirsten's channel at. Is it half two? Have oh, I got that wrong? What time, Karen? Oh, wow. Let's have a nice sleep. Oh, yes. I forgot you don't drink still and you hate crowds. Wow. God, you must hate it in the summer then, where you are. My aunt lives really close to the station. There's like a glass lift that goes down and then her um, apartment building thing is there. Oh, Mel, my neighbours had someone in their house cleaning their carpets for them. Is that allowed now? Yeah, aren't you allowed cleaners in now? And nannies, somebody said. Because um, I was like, oh, cleaners are allowed. And Tom said, Tom was like, and I said, no, I'm not even thinking about that because Tracy comes and does cleaning for us as well. She also does care work and, you know, it's a, but I freaking hate the cleaning. Uh, so I wasn't, I said, no, I'm not entertaining that idea, but I would love to entertain that idea, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, it's odd, isn't it? I, I still, you know, we're meant to be socially distancing still, aren't we? Kirsten, I want to party for my birthday, but not convinced we'll be free by August. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Uh, Oh, well, I love seeing Lex's garden yesterday. 
Ah, uh, store as soon as it's possible. I'm getting in my car and driving to France and Spain. My aunt that lives in Brighton uh, used to. Oh, hang on, let's phrase this properly. I think she immigrated two or three times to Spain. My uncle was Spanish. Um, they did run restaurants out there. I think when they first immigrated, she was nursing as well, so she nursed. Um, uh. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, 2.30, Kirsten. Cool. Aaron and Kirsten, 2.30. Lex, I sprayed my bed and eye mask with lavender. Oh, I was talking about the lavender yesterday. Put on an app that records your sleep and plays a 10 minute meditation. Wow. You can have a clean room, but not a family member. Yeah, I mean, it is ridiculous, isn't it? That is ridiculous. I Even I know it's ridiculous, but. Oh, nannies can start in June. Yeah, see, I've got a real feeling that people can get, oh, some of the kids are going back to school. Everything's back to normal, first of June. Um, and I just think this is never, I, this might never be normal again. Just take care, everybody. You know, I've just got a horrible, yeah, when I was out in the garden last night, actually, I could hear someone coughing and I couldn't work out what direction it was coming from. I was like, is it my neighbor there or is it? at the bottom of the garden and but it was a like cough 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 and I was like oh Christ alive I came in and was like trying to work out where it was coming from um oh Chris having to resort to sleeping tablets it's a nightmare isn't it it's just the most important thing sleep as well Crikey, blinds people are trying to come, Julie. Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't that? Yeah, and you're not convinced you get a holiday. Yeah, I'm not convinced we'll get ours in August. So. Tom has also got the fear that we've booked the flights for Norwegian and the two accommodations for the Norwegian that we might even be permitted to go but not be able to apply for our visas in time or, you know, like... Norwegian might be able to fly, but America might want you to quarantine. And do you know what I mean? That there's going to be issues. Um, sleeping tablet tablets gave you nightmares. Certain tablets I've taken have given me really horrible nightmares. <laughs> Lex was whispering sweet nothings in Stool's ears last night. Oh, that dress looked lovely, Lex. The um, the one from Kath, the, uh, it was Lindy Bot, wasn't it? Really suited you. Oh, what? Cold call salesman, for goodness sake. People are, well, I suppose he's probably desperate for the money. But, you know, you can't, you still, there's still rules around, isn't there? Or is it because they've changed it to be alert? Oh, Sue, my son's wedding in August has just cancelled. Yeah, we had a wedding in uh, June. Um, it cancelled a while back. They were trying to rebook for September, but I'm not even sure about that, really. Catherine, my daughter works in a nursery and is back to work on 1st of June. I don't want her to go. She does, though, not liking the 80% pay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I'm not sure the schools will reopen, but I've already said, um, apparently our uh, school have said it's a choice. Um, Tom gets the emails and he needs to look it up, but my friend said they've said it's a choice. And I said, well, I'm choosing no then to start with. I'm not I'm not pushing Maud back on the, she's year six, but I'm not pushing her back on the 1st of June when we've still got quite a chunky death rate per day and infection rate. Um, I don't, and I know that, at this time of year after sacks, all they're doing is like rehearsing for their performance. And there's one girl that she wants to see, it's going to a different school. And I said, well, we can arrange that. Otherwise she's not bothered. Um, if if I thought, oh, she's missing something really crucial academically, maybe I'd be, you know, but, you know, they're just doing their performance at this time of year. And 
is that worth the risk when I'm not even allowed to go places, but she's all right to go in to school and she's got 90 in her year? No, thanks. Um, that's how I feel about that. It's just it's too big a risk. I don't think weighing it up is not worth it. Um, Oh, word, Andrea. Somebody not well over the road. Oh, word, Kirsten. I heard you saying something about noise. Oh, 5.30. Lonely mediation is fab. Do you mean meditation? You have to get the right voice, though. Yeah. Yeah, because that one that wanted me to like tighten my earlobes and tighten my and go all the way down till I got to my toes just got on my nerves and I just have to fast forward them and in the end I just say I can't be bothered. Um, Power Wolf, I don't care what relaxations were allowed by the government, everyone can stay the away from me until there's a vaccine. Yeah. Oh, Claire, sun is year six. I'm thinking July if rate keeps dropping. That's exactly what Tom said. He said July. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, we can look at it as it goes along. But I, when they did the um, like text survey, I said, whilst the death rate is what it is, then I, I'm not, um, I said I was undecided, but while the death rate is what it is, then, then it would be a no. Um, I, I just don't see what, the, of the year six is the benefit the benefits not outweighing the risk for me um oh julie's a child minder mm. Can't you see talking about little people is always relaxing? Yeah. Oh wow, buying space. My church meet yesterday. I was the only one who wore a mask. Oh my god, and gloves. Is your church um mostly older people? Because the older people, all the ones I know, like in my family and that are the worst ones. Well, no, not all of them, but like for just going, oh you know not taking it seriously uh, and they're the worst you know most at risk yeah so um oh wow it's 28 minutes I've been ranting on about nothing um just show you quickly these three bits that are going out or, or three sales rather Oh, I suddenly feel starving as well. I think I've had three cups of tea and no food yet. So, two necklaces and two brooches. So, this little number has gone for a little chunk of £14 free shipping. That'll go in a large letter, so that's all good. This, this was a good sale. This is just an M&S. Um, chunky monkey pearl, faux pearl, and that's gone for sixteen pounds free shipping for an MS. So I'm, you know, pretty pleased with that. I think I've probably I was unsure whether it would get in as a large letter, so I bumped that one up a bit, and that worked fine. And then two little brooches going to the same person. Oops, total paid eighteen pounds free shipping. It's a little. Little rose, vintage rose, and a little froggy on a lily pad. This one is JJI, which is what is that? Something James, isn't it? I think it's an American jeweler. Can't remember the name. Something James, I believe. I, know, I love that. So yeah, Kirsten, sixteen pounds for MS. Yeah. To be honest, I. You probably see, I sell a lot of M&S. I bought quite a big haul of M&S off of eBay because it does well for me. Um, 
and I tend to sell at about 14 pounds but if I'm thinking god that's gonna have to be a small parcel then I might put an extra one two pounds on um yeah seriously don't overlook a minute um Oh, still, I did not know that. The max size for Royal Mail is two centimeters. Yeah, I've got a um, cardboard slot that I can check it with. Uh, but Hermes, it's three centimeters. The thing is, if I, it's more expensive. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, but you can't choose large letter Hermes through eBay, can you? It's only, it starts at small parcel, does it not? Um, otherwise, I would use Hermes because I love my Hermes lady. Um, yeah, is that, am I right? It's not an option for small, uh, for large letters on eBay, Hermes, is there or am I being? Let me know if there is, because I'd use it. I do free shipping, yeah. Um, mostly, I didn't use two at all for the clothing. In fact, I still don't for clothing. Uh, but for jewellery, I do, because I have a lot of multiple buyers. You know, those two brooches will go together, and I haven't had to combine shipping or anything. Just, you know, it costs what it costs, so... It's, it's a benefit to me generally to do free shipping. And it saves all the faff of gang, of uh, combining and all of that. Because I was having to do that quite a lot. And I thought, actually, this is, yeah, this just free ship. It balances out. Um, oh, you buy through parcel to go. Yeah, because when I buy, because you get a good rate with eBay. It's when I buy um, the shipping for like my reseller bundles. It's quite, it's quite uh, stiff the price on the normal Hermes site. Oh no, large letter option on Hermes. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Because I would use that. Um, yeah, postable Hermes is only drop off. Not close. Interesting though about the uh, slightly bigger on the large letters. Yeah, because I've got. I mean, some parcels go on the doorstep, but I'm so used to postbox now. It's weird because I've. Oh, I was already thinking about post lockdown. Like, I really want to go back to my. I really want to. Um, I don't think this is the right word. Patronize, but not in that way. Like my be a patron of my parcel shop because they're so good in there. Um, but most of my stuff is like large letter now. But I want to support his local business, you know. Homeschooling, killing me, pink carpet. Oh, yeah. Aged about five years in the last nine weeks. I swear there's more grey coming through than ever. Oh, not that. I mean, the girls are very, very good. It's more like chipping them and reminding them of what you're doing today and which they both get asked about or you know, them coming down and saying, right, you can have a break, but then, you know, do an hour and then you can leave it and that sort of thing. Um, Hermes Large Letter starts at 102.9. Oh, so yes, that's cheaper than, um, yeah, for my for my necklaces that, because it would be two, 284, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I can link parcel to go to your eBay as well. All interesting news. God, look at us talking about reselling and helpful tips. And <laughs> it's called Smart Send. Black clouds have passed for car in, no rain. Just putting some washing out. Actually, but. Yeah, I think the girls want to get the big paddling pool up today and need to shift some furniture around. So you can't put it where the Astro is because we literally are playing so much badminton on that now. And football. Right, that'll do it. 34 minutes. Thank you, 56 people, for joining me. Please thumbs up or down. Have a beautiful day in this weather if you've got it. Um, oh, here's Tap, Tap Peddler. All right, Derek. Just link in your link your Hermes or puzzle to go to eBay, and don't forget cashback. I've been a bit of a nit here, I think. Um, yes, fabulous tips. Thank you very much.
Um, but I don't die. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, what day? is it Thursday? See, Friday morning? Is it the weekend coming already? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because it's cut for carers tonight. <sighs> Where does it go? Bye-bye, don't die. <laughs>